Hello everyone, good evening and welcome back once again. Uh, this is a small announcement on the new Azure Badge which I'm planning to start from 30th of October. Let me quickly share the details for the same. I'll go to my blog over here and go to the blogs. And I'm referring to the latest blog over here. Right, so as I mentioned, I'm going to focus on Azure Admin and Azure DevOps along with Terraform in this training module. And up, upon completion of this training, uh, one can try for any of the certification after adequate practice. So, so the batch is going to start from 30th October. The timing is morning 6.30 to 8 a.m. Okay. And you can refer this link to join the free demo sessions, initial few demo sessions free, so you can join and try to understand if it is matching with your career aspiration or is matching with your current uh, roles and responsibilities, what you're working on, so you can continue joining this. So we'll check the course content in a few minutes. So uh, as I mentioned, the fee here, it's going to be 15,000 if you go for the installment options and then 13,000 if you go with the single payment where you'll get 2,000 discount. And uh, the duration will be roughly 45 days. So that means a daily one and a half hour, 40 to 45 days. So it's going to be 60 to 65 hours of training and will take roughly two months to complete. Right? And I've created a small WhatsApp group where uh, the same batch uh, people can join here and then collaborate. Right? So if you can join the group if you're interested. So I have mentioned a few demos over here. So or also in my uh, channel, you'll see uh, playlist created for all the Azure demos, so you can refer that or for all the previous recorded sessions, right? And let me quickly share the course content what I'm planning to cover in this module. We'll start with the Azure fundamentals, so our cloud fundamentals, I would say, and also we'll discuss about the difference between on-premise and cloud operations, how it is different than your traditional on-premise operations, right? And we'll technically focus on Azure networking at the first place, where we will focus on setting up a secure networking and then protecting your resources from various ways, right? And then how you will control the traffic from here internally, externally, how you will uh, manage the traffic flow within the Azure that we will try to discuss over here using components called VNet, NSG, Firewall, right? Using various components, we will control the traffic. Then we will talk about virtual machines. Then we'll move on to advanced networking, which is high availability solution designing using load balancer or using the uh, standard load balancer along with the Azure DNS and application gateway for high availability and also there are two more components which I need to add in between section eight and nine, which is traffic manager profile and front door. Those are the two things I think I need to cover off so that I will modify the content and I'll put it over here for the next batch at least. And we'll try to discuss about virtual machine scale sets. Then we'll move on to the storage and backup and recovery, disaster recovery, all the stuff. Then pass applications and databases. And these are the pass applications and databases, what we're going to cover off. Then moving on to security using Azure Active Directory. I need to rename this. Now Azure Active Directory is no longer an active component name or a service name in Azure. This has been already replaced as an Entra ID last month. So I think I need to update this, right? And again, implementing Azure based management and automation. That means, so if you want to schedule some run books or workbooks and uh, DSC configuration, desert state configurations and stuff using Azure way services, how we can do that, that we will discuss. Then we'll move on to containerization world. How you, are, how you are developing the Docker applications or Docker containers images, and then how you will publish them in various containerization platforms, or how you will use the AKS as an orchestration platform to provide the container operations within the Azure. So that we will focus over here. Mm -hmm. Then after that, we'll talk about, uh, I think within the networking only, we'll talk about NAT gateway and CDN, web application firewalls, these services we will discuss along with our networking testing itself. Then we'll move on to uh, automation when it comes to automation using the Azure default uh, uh, infrastructure as a code mechanism called BICEP or third party infrastructure as a code, code infrastructure as a code component called as Terraform or maybe 
uh, will try to cover off a packer as well uh, using packer how you can create a custom image and stuff that we will try to cover off in this in this training module then we'll use the same terraform code and we will try to incorporate into azure devops and run the infrastructure deployments and also on top of the infrastructure we will run the application deployments using azure devops that we will cover off over here then i will try to give you an overview on function and function apps and logic apps how we can utilize these in order to build the uh, modern applications or style, I would say. Then we'll talk about uh, management and governance, how we will put the condition policies and your security or uh, recommendations and what actions that you perform, all those things we will try to cover off here. Then we'll talk about the other two topics which we skipped here. One is uh, monitoring and reporting, how you will do that analysis, monitoring, reporting. Then your migration projects, how you will handle your migration project, what tasks are you perform during the migration, right? And also as far as the cost management is concerned, cost of management, cost optimization, cost reduction, how you will perform those activities in real time that we will try to cover off. And at the end, we'll talk about the certification roadmap and any specific project that you guys are working on, I will demonstrate the our project details, how a project can be executed within the Azure platform. So this is the overall agenda and this whole program will take a roughly 45 days and roughly around 60 to 65 uh, hours of training that we are going to start from 30th October morning, 6.30 to 8 o'clock, right? So thanks for your time guys and I'll see you on the demo day on 30th October, bye-bye.